Welcome back to Praise Collectibles channel, everyone. Uh, we have a guest right here in the house of Praise Collectibles, and he came all the way from New Mexico. He used to live in Whittier, but he retired and moved to New Mexico to have more fun over there. And he is a well, what can I say, more the most knowledgeable guy that I ever known for Bugatti. Uh, and he knows when it started. He knows about the family, and he knows why Bugatti is still around and how Volkswagen took over their licensing. But anyways, let him explain to you guys. Hi, welcome to my store, okay? So what do you need to tell these people that are watching this video? Okay, my name is Richard Payan, and I live in a little town of um, Corrales, New Mexico, which is right, uh, right outside of Albuquerque. And I have uh, opened a little car museum, and it's a uh, it's nonprofit. It's, uh, it, it was put out for car guys and their kids. And in the summertime, they come over and they they look at all these die cast cars that I have. And also, I continue to uh, build the replica Bugattis. I, I started doing that uh, back in the late 60s, and uh, I'm still doing it. So. Uh, and what, what years of Bugattis do you do? Okay, my main. My main uh, model of Bugatti that I, I, I assembled together, which are replicas, uh, it's uh, the Type 35, which was a race car going back to 1924. And uh, they, Bugatti back then pretty much dominated racing. Okay, One of the only uh, competitors was the Alfa Romeo. So. Uh, I, I continue to uh, build cars in this little museum that I have, and uh, anybody, anybody's welcome. It's uh, there's no there's no charge. Uh, it's all free, and uh, the museum itself is based on, on Indianapolis. So uh, you're looking at uh, a model Type 59, which is pretty much like a Type 35, and. Uh, so th this would be the the early uh, Bugatti race cars, and uh, and I'll switch over and show you the uh, the later model, which is uh, now being made made still in France, made by, by Bugatti by um, excuse me by uh, uh, Volkswagen, and uh, the la the latest model that they they built is. Uh, the type, uh, well, it's, it's, it's called the Chiron. The, this particular model that I'm holding, it's one of the first ones uh, made by Volkswagen. Uh, and it's, uh, this particular model is the EB110. Uh, and the latest, the latest one they, they build now is the, the Chiron, which is a, uh, it's, capable of uh, going 263 miles an hour and it, it, it is a streetcar so as you were telling me about the Bugatti family uh, having their own kind of like uh, symbol that they put on the cars on all the Bugattis yeah, what yes, is the symbol uh, to identify a Bugatti basically all you got to do is look at the grill in the front and it will, it will always be uh, will be a horseshoe uh, radiator. So, uh, Mr. Bugatti back then, he was, he, uh, he loved horses. So he incorporated the, uh, the horseshoe radiator style into his cars. You guys see it here? And if you guys see the other old one, let me show you guys right now. Look at the front. It looks like a horseshoe going up like this. And if you look at any Bugatti, you're still going to see that pattern of a horseshoe, which I never knew about it until this gentleman told me about it. And I go, wow, I never realized that. But it's good history to know. And he knows more than me because he's been collecting for 65 years. Mm -hmm. So that's a very long time. And this is the only collector that I know that has collected die cast for that long. You know, uh, uh, Larry Wood uh, only has like 51 years under his belt, but this guy, wow, 65 years. He said he started collecting when he was nine, so that's a very long time. He's still going, 
So if you guys ever go to New Mexico, look him up, go to his museum, which I'm going to do it probably next Rich, year. Rich Toys. Rich Toys, that's what, that's what he's under. And uh, but they have his car right here. Check it out. Rich Toys. So if you guys ever want to go, or live around there, New Mexico, go check out his museum. Or, or if you have a Bugatti, you know, maybe you could go take it to him and this, he'll display it for you on his museum, maybe. You know, that's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to get a Bugatti around here. Probably this one right here so you could take it and display it over there at the museum. So uh, thank you, sir, for uh, giving us a nice story, this history about the Bugatti. And hopefully we'll see you again at your museum. And what else would you like to talk to the to these audience that are watching your video right now. Okay, well, I would say uh, if, if, if you're in the area of Albuquerque, New Mexico, just uh, drop on by. It's, uh, it's a nonprofit. It's all, it's all free. So uh, anybody's welcome to, to my place. And it's, it's known as Rich Toys. All so I right. uh, hope to see you there. Okay, then. Thank you, everyone. Adios.